Andre Woodcock. I'm a professor in Coventry University. I'm co-director of the Transportation and Mobility Research Centre and I'm project coordinator of MEPEX. We're not purely a technology-driven project. We're using technology to actually explore the experiences of passengers. And also we're looking at crowdsourcing, real-time data, and how this information can be gathered in ways that are useful and usable for the travellers as well. The tools have been developed for transport stakeholder groups, so local authorities, transport authorities, and transport operators as well. What we found is that at the moment these stakeholders don't actually gather a lot of information in a reliable and consist consistent manner and also they don't have the funding many times to do, their, to do their own surveys. So what we're providing is a set of low-cost, easily accessible tools for them to use and develop their own data. I think this is really important because there are significant gaps in the information that they're currently collecting so on the hard to reach groups in terms of complex trips that people make and if they don't have these get this information then they can't actually provide the services people want and also they don't know about the problems that people have in using services so there's a real gap of information here and hopefully the MetPEX tools will enable them to capture that information and then use it to improve their services or maybe the design of the towns for example if they're not collecting information on sort of problems with the pavements or problems with the design of bus, bus stops and bus stations, then they don't actually know that that's a problem and they can't champion that problem and allocate resources to improving those situations. So what we're doing is providing them with a way of gathering that evidence and actually building up an argument for the need to spend money on these resources. So the information we're collecting from our surveys will enable operators to tailor their services more accurately to the needs of their passengers and different groups of passengers. So we can find out what the needs are of disabled travellers, where they're having problems in terms of accessibility and usability of services. So maybe um, there's insufficient lifts, lifts that don't work, they might have problems getting onto and off of vehicles at certain times, we might look at the um, service providers, the attitude of the drivers towards those people. So we can look at the barriers and understand the barriers that are being faced by certain types of people and use that to enable the operators to improve the levels of service they provide. And if they do that, then they can improve the accessibility and the inclusivity of their services for different groups of people. And by doing this, we're hoping to encourage more people to use public transport and perhaps use active forms of transport as well. So being able to walk safely from, the, from their doorstep to the first transport point.